There's something special about being the United States champion. Sure, there's a long list of legends who have held this title, and that's great. But it's also how this title has been defended that makes it so special. It's a tradition that started with John Cena, and I've decided that I'm going to continue that tradition. Now, I'm not going to let this title sit on a shelf and collect dust. Oh, no. I'm going to defend it every chance I get. That's why starting tonight, I'm bringing back the U.S. title open challenge. So whoever's ready to step up and face me, come on out right now. Who's going to be the first superstar to answer Buzz's U.S. title open challenge? Baron Corbin has been itching for a shot of the new guy, and now he gets it. Yeah, this could turn out to be a very short United States title reign for Buzz. Are you surprised Buzz initiated the U.S. title open challenge so early in his WWE tenure? I'm not surprised, Michael. From what we've seen so far, this guy is not afraid of challenging himself. Yeah, I'm not surprised either because he has a track record of reckless behavior. If you ask me, he's just setting himself up for failure. Oh, I think this man means business. Oh, ouch. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. The challenger's starting to slow down a bit here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly aren't looking good for him right now. Trust me, if you're a WWE superstar, this is not where you want to be. No way. What a clothesline. Line. Ouch. Incredible. This has to be it. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. Boy, right to the face. I knew it was only a matter of time. I don't know if Corby can recover. I hate to agree with you, but you're right. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. What a combination. You just don't know what's coming next. Victory is up. The champion into the cover. The champ retains. No doubt that was a match people will be telling their kids about for years to come. Here's another look. Count yourselves lucky. Buzz has done it. Successfully defending his U.S. title in an open challenge match. Yeah, but the cracks in his armor are already starting to show. It's only a matter of time before it shatters completely. Uh, does armor shatter? It's a metaphor, Saxton. Don't hurt your brain.
We saw the return of the U.S. Title Open Challenge last week, and Buzz is already in the ring, ready for his next opponent. Wow, these two have a little bit of history. Revenge fueled Buzz in his invasion of NXT. Will it fuel Gargano to victory tonight? Wow, you can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be oh. some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. And man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Johnny Wrestling is hoping to show his opposition just how he earned that nickname. Oh, Byron, you see, some people named John use Johnny instead. And, oh, you meant the wrestling part. Look at this. He's zeroing in on the arm now. Wicked clothesline. The damage has been done. Nicely done. Look out. The challenger's taking on some offense. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. Believe it or not, fellas, some people are speculating whether the champ should have to defend the gold against what some are calling inferior competition here tonight. I think you're just trying to drum up controversy. I haven't heard any whispers about the champion having to defend against inferior competition. Yeah, inferior competition? That's nuts. I'm willing to bet the champ started that rumor in an attempt to get into his opposition's head. Either that or Corey's just making stuff up, as you alluded to, Michael. Whoa, Gargano dodged that one. Johnny's so quick. Great move. That's it. It's over. It's over. I can tell you guys that this arena sold out in record time, and a lot of that has to do with this match in the ring right now. This is easily one of the most anticipated title matches in recent memory. Six. Now back to the ring. Like you were saying, Michael, when news broke that this title match would take place here, I had dozens of people I know in and around the area calling and texting. What does Buzz have in store? We're, we're about to find out. He's going to do it. So damaging. Now that's what I call making a statement. Johnny Gargano is just getting overwhelmed. What does Buzz have in store? We're we're gonna... He lands an amazing flip. He got him there. Just look at this, Cole. Wow. Whoa, Gargano dodged that one. And Johnny's so quick. He goes for the cover. The history books will have to wait another day. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. That was just one of those matches that the men involved... Yep, the wonder after the grueling victory over Bobby Roode combined with back-to-back -back weeks of defending the U.S. title. Is this starting to take a toll on the champion? It has to be, Cole. I'm telling you, he's not used to this type of schedule.
answer his U.S. title open challenge. It's the masked attacker. We haven't seen him since he wrestled Buzz in NXT. Well, that's not Baron Blade unless he very quickly shed about 40 pounds. Well, maybe Baron Blade has been hitting the gym. Maybe he's been on the Saxman diet since we last saw him. I don't think so, Byron. No one wants to be on your stupid diet. underneath the mask obviously thinks they can use it to exploit Buzz's past to gain a psychological advantage. Well, Buzz has been tested physically in WWE, but now we're going to find out how tough he is mentally. I'm honestly surprised someone didn't try this sooner. Oh, what a right! Man, that's some attitude behind it. He got him good there. Oh, the diving fist drop. Risking disqualification here. He might be trying to take out the leg here. Challenger starting to falter. Well, he knew the champion wasn't going to go down easy here tonight. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match. It's Sami Zayn! I knew it! You thought it was Baron Blade. Leave it to Sami to pull off some generic stunt like this. Kevin Owens from behind. KO and Sami Zayn are formally welcoming Buzz to SmackDown Live. It appears the on-again, off-again relationship between Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens is on again and these two will do anything when it comes to winning championships Congratulations on winning the U.S. title. And I'm sorry Sami Zayn pulled that stunt with the mask. It's too bad guys are trying to capitalize on what happened between us. You shouldn't have to be reminded of it like that. Anyway, good luck with your open challenge. I'll be pulling for you. Buzz wants to have a few words with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn after what happened last week. All right, I know you guys prefer to gang up and jump people from behind, but if you want a fair fight, step up and answer my U.S. title open challenge one-on-one -on -one and not hide behind some mask either. That mask was hilarious, Sammy. What are you talking about? That was not me. Sammy, he pulled your mask off. Everyone saw it was you. You should have seen the look on your face when he came out wearing that thing. Allegedly. Okay, whenever you guys are done recalling the spineless actions from last week, you know where to find me. Before you get too involved with these idiots or have any more open challenges, don't forget you still owe me a rematch for that U.S. title. 
He's right. Guys, we're gonna have to settle this some other time. Looks like I already have a match tonight. I don't care what he said. We're settling this tonight. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. And he's a proud guy. That title may not be on the line here, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to win this match. He slams him down with authority. Dropped by a clothesline. Kevin Owens may be in a bad way here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. By the looks of things, I don't think he expected his opponent to be as motivated as he clearly is here tonight. Owens is a force within the ring. Ooh. What a punch. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. He gets him with a reversal. Kevin Owens just too fast for him. Surprisingly quick. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. Eight. Got him with the power bomb. He's starting to feel it here. But he's very... And here we go, Kevin Owens with the cover. He's got plenty of gas left in his tank. Too soon. Looking to take out the leg. Kevin Owens being put to the test. He doesn't want to let this match get out of control, guys. This match certainly isn't trending in the right direction for him. He's going to need it. That one hit. Buzz might be in danger of losing his U.S. title here. Wait a minute. It's Bobby Roode. He has some unfinished business with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Now all four superstars are taking out their frustrations on each other. Hey, that's enough. If you four want to fight so bad, then we'll have a match. Tonight, in the main event, it will be Buzz and Bobby Roode versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Wow, what a main event we'll have for you later tonight on SmackDown Live.
When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. We have a team led by a real fan favorite against Team Kevin Owens. It is officially go time. Some unique circumstances have led to an unlikely pairing with Buzz teaming up with Bobby Roode to take on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. You have to work. Good point by Byron earlier if there's an opening to execute. And an ear fall. By the width of a fingertip, Owens got the shoulder up. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, I think this man means business. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. Things aren't going so well for Kevin Owens. The night could be over for Kevin Owens. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. He comes up big there. Things aren't going so well for... What an incredible tag team contest. And here's another look at some incredible action from a match that we're not likely to stop talking about for a long, long time. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here are your winners. The Reaper, Nick Collins and Bobby Brew. And that's a nice win for these two here tonight. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. The crowd here tonight certainly seemed to appreciate the efforts. What a great match. Welcome back to SmackDown Live, where it appears Shane McMahon is now trying to sort out last week's U.S. title mess. I was this close to defeating you last week before Bobby Roode attacked me on your behalf. I don't know what you're talking about. He, he tripped on his robe, remember? But we're getting off track. My point is I was going to pin you, but then I still won by disqualification, so I should be the number one contender for the US title. Don't take too long. I wouldn't want any other accidents to happen. I know a lot of guys are claiming they deserve a shot at your US title, but if anyone really does, it's me. Technically, the masked attacker had a US title shot. Sami Zayn did not.
Really? Who else is going to get a U.S. title match before me? K.O.? Sammy, the janitor? The makeup lady? Tom freaking Phillips? At some point? It should have happened weeks ago, but since it didn't, it needs to happen. We've been waiting a long time for this one. The championship is up for grabs right here, next. We have a real fan favorite against an imposing adversary. Introducing the challenger. After that oh, epic man. entrance, Bobby Roode has even more amazing tricks with his technical wrestling skills. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. It doesn't get more blatant than that. I mean, I don't understand how the officials not seeing this. Toss to the outside. Two. Guys, in a title match like this one, on a stage as big as the one we're on now, you have to wonder how much nerves will become a factor. Ooh, that hurt. What a sharp one right to the cheekbone. Man. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. Circling back to your earlier point, Corey, you have to think nerves will play a big part in this match, which I think favors the champion, especially considering how many times the champ's been in big-time matches like this. I'd agree. The champ is used to the bright lights and bright stage. Dare I say, it's almost second nature at this point. That landed perfectly. A lot of people are saying the champion has never looked better, but that doesn't mean we can't see an upset here tonight. Well, that's one way to surprise an opponent.
As Byron was talking earlier about the champ being a heavy favor here tonight, Ooh. I couldn't help but think back to the night Santino Morella defeated Umaga for the Intercontinental Championship in 2007. I don't think there was a person alive who thought Santino had even a sliver of hope. Yeah, including Santino himself. But hey, as the old saying goes, anything can happen in the WWE. Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some... What is Buzz... Bobby Roode looks to be in trouble. Wait a minute. Buzz might be in trouble now, too. We should have known these two would get involved. Oh, my God! Taking advantage! Uh -oh. What the... What? Yes! Uh -oh. Pop-up! Oh. And... Power oh. bomb! These guys are a black eye on SmackDown Live. Yeah, I agree. They're tarnishing everything the United States title stands for. For as talented as Owens and Zayn are, they're every bit a disgrace. Uh, hopefully we get some kind of resolution to this next week because it definitely didn't happen tonight. Welcome to SmackDown Live, where the United States Champion is about to address the WWE Universe. And luckily, it looks like Buzz was able to get his title back after last week's shenanigans. Right, wait, wait, wait. Did you just say shenanigans? Yeah, oh, what's wrong with that? My time as United States Champion hasn't quite gone as I planned, to say the least. I wanted to defend the title and give you hard-fought, competitive, and fair matches every week, but that's been impossible lately thanks to Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Bobby Roode. That's why I'm out here to say... I'm tired of the constant interference and everyone thinking they deserve a US title shot. So I'm proposing that Kevin Owens and Bobby Roode settle it in the ring to see who the real number one contender is. Oh, and one more thing. I'll be at ringside to make sure Sami Zayn doesn't affect the outcome of this match in any way, shape, or form. The United States champion has weighed in on how he thinks this tumultuous situation should be settled. Let's see if Daniel Bryan agrees with him. Thank you for saying what needed to be said. In recent weeks, through no fault of your own, the United States title has been dragged through the mud by your opponent. So I'm backing your decision and making it official. Triple H on SmackDown? What's he doing here? I don't know. I just have a feeling he didn't stop by just to say hi. I know you're still relatively new to WWE, Buzz, so let me fill you in on something. You may have gotten lucky by winning the U.S. title, but that doesn't mean you get to call the shots around here. I call the shots. Um, Hunter, can we talk about that for a second? Because last time I checked, your brother-in-law Shane and I are in charge of SmackDown. Not you. So actually, we call the shots. Ooh, this is getting good. Shut up and listen to what I'm about to say because it is a lesson that you and everyone else needs to learn. I have influence far greater than anything you could imagine. Whatever I say goes. No questions asked. I say build it and it's how fast do you need it. I say make the match and the only questions are when and where. I say fire someone and WWE wishes them luck in their future endeavors. All anyone else has is the illusion of power. You call the shots because I let you call the shots. Now if you have a problem with any of that, I can make one call 
and you'll be struggling to put food on your family's table. You need us. We don't need you. Are we clear? Yeah, we're clear. Good. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, the US title picture. I have a better idea for how to settle all of this. At Money in the Bank, you won't even need to be pinned to lose your US title. Because it's gonna be a fatal four-way match. Of you versus Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Bobby Roode. Breaking news. I told you. At Money in the Bank. I'd never forget what you did. We're gonna have a new champion. The championship is up for grabs. Coming up next. Get ready, WWE Universe. It's Buzz! entrance Bobby Roode is even more amazing tricks with his technical wrestling skills and Cole I can very easily see any one of these four participants winning this thing oh. Bobby Roode looking good tonight truly worthy of the expensive robes he wears to the ring I can't believe I'm agreeing with a guy who shops at Suit City but if these were fashion competitions his opponents would have already lost How's he getting away with this is beyond me. Back in the ring now. Hits him right between the eyes with the knee. Challenger starting to falter. But he certainly comes into this Ouch. championship match with a ton of momentum. If things don't change in a hurry, this has all the makings of a short evening for him. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Executed perfectly. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. A big fight feel inside this arena here tonight for this huge championship match. And so far, I'd say these competitors have brought their A games. Well executed. It's got to be over now. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. It looks like Kevin Owens getting pushed to the limits here. And you have to wonder how much the challenger can sustain at this point. You're absolutely oh, right, Michael. This arena is electric right now. And I think part of it is their desire to be part of history. I think they're all anticipating a title change here tonight. Pull your jets, Saxton. Let's not go crowning a new champion just yet. There's still plenty of match to go here. Guys, a lot of people are predicting a new champion here tonight. Even a poll on WWE.com earlier today predicted we'd have a new champ. But at the risk of being a downer, I'll believe it when I see it. Back between the ropes. Corey, I have to disagree with your earlier comment. I'm with the masses on this one. I think tonight is the night we crown a new champion. Well, either way, guys, this has been one heck of a match up to this point, and I think it's only going to get better. Goes down hard. 
What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. He hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. I'm not sure how much he has left. Look out. There he goes. Knocked right off his feet. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. This might be the opportunity he needed. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is the win. He's got the shoulders down. Oh, I think this man means business. Right to the kidneys from behind. He hits the belly to back suplex. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really... Oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. Toss to the outside, down to the floor. Look at this. Dropped by the cross body. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. That slam put him in a bad way, guys. We've got a cover. Oh, kick out. A glorious kick out. Gonna take more than that. He's making a statement here with this attack. The finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying. But it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done. And even then, it's not a sure bet. A la Randy Savage versus the Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 7. That's my favorite match of all time. Randy Savage landed an amazing five top rope elbow drops, but was still unable to put Warrior away. And you know what? He probably could have hit him with five more. There was just no stopping the Warrior on that one. And a kick out. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Walking around the city earlier today, guys, the only thing anybody was talking about, Bobby Roode said it. Roode with an earth-shattering spine buster. That was glorious. That might have done it, Cole. When this guy's on, look out. Solid contact from Buzz. Oh, so physical. Man, Kevin Owens, what offense. Sami Zayn in a tough spot here. The challenger is starting to feel the pressure of this high-profile championship match. Looks to me like he's on Dream Street right now, fellas. That's not a place you want to be when you're in the ring with these three guys. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Delivers the pile driver. This one is over. Let's look at the replay. Nice move right there. He breaks up the pin, and Corey, the match continues. I love it. Nicely done. Knocked him right off his feet. Buzz wins and keeps the title around his waist. That match deserves another look. Here we go. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Buzz did it. Much to Triple H's disappointment, he somehow beat the odds to win the fatal four-way match. I told you he had a chance to win. Are you shocked, Corey? Yes, I'm shocked that for once, you were right.
That money in the bank ladder match was awesome. Congrats on walking out with the briefcase. Thanks. To be honest, it's gonna be kind of annoying carrying this around with me. And seeing as you're the rookie, how about you carry it around for me? <laughs> no thanks. I already got my hands full. Huh. I'll remember that. The United States Champion is here on SmackDown Live, fresh off a successful title defense at Money in the Bank. I was talking to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and I've decided that they're both going to get another shot at your US title. I said they're both going to get a shot at your US title in a two-on-one handicap match. If you thought the odds were against you in a fatal four-way, just wait until tonight. If I wanted your U.S. title, I wouldn't need to ask anyone for permission. I'd just take it. Stay out of my way unless you want an RKO. After we beat you tonight, we're going to be co-U.S. champions. He makes a good point. It is only fair. He is just trying to drive us apart before the match. And besides, we had a deal all worked out in writing. I faxed it to you, remember? I don't have a fax machine. It's 2018. I'm pretty sure you do. It made the fax noise. Sammy, Sammy, stop. Sammy, I get it. Stop. I get it. You know, so do we have a deal then? Co-champions? Yes, as long as you never make that noise again. <laughs> 